Hi guys, Pete from Mixcat. We're going to make some roasted peppers today. A pretty simple dish and I'm going to make it with some leftovers. I have some leftover rice, which you can see in the previous video, the one with the tilapia. Also with the roasted chicken. I'm going to mix those two things with some cheese and some spices and stuff these peppers. Really simple to do. What we're going to do is we're going to take this yellow bell pepper and kind of cut down into the top. We're going to make a circle on the top and we're going to clean out the inside. In the inside you're going to have quite a bit of seeds. We're going to actually take these out and we're going to save them. Definitely a, a good idea to save those seeds. Let them dry in a, a paper towel and it makes uh, for growing peppers real easy. There's all the seeds, nice and neat. To take out the, those seeds just put down a uh, paper towel and just scrape it all into the paper towel. And they come out pretty easy. We're going to let this dry out for a couple days and I'm actually going to plant this in the backyard and uh, I'll have plenty more peppers. But definitely a great thing to do. Peppers are about a buck a piece in the store to two dollars a piece and um, you can grow a lot of peppers out of these seeds so you save money and it's healthier. Okay now that the seeds are off we got the top all I do is kind of cut this part off on the top, um, make it nice and flat. That way we can really stuff this nice. You can see it's a pretty big pepper, so we'll pack that full of rice and the chicken and herbs and spices and let that bake in the oven like that. Simple enough, we got them all uh, de-seeded and the tops cut off so we can pack them. Uh, cleaned out the inside as best we could. I don't care if it's got a little bit of seeds in there. Um, I, I actually like the flavor, but we're going to go ahead and make the mix now. First ingredient to go in is our leftover rice. If you don't have leftover rice, just make up some rice with uh, garlic and put tomato sauce and tomato, uh, roasted tomatoes in there. How, however you like your rice. Uh, you can make it on the spicy side, you can make it on the salty side, a little bit of cheese, however you like it. This one that we made um, just basically has uh, some stewed tomatoes, uh, basil, uh, olive oil, and garlic in this. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this all into the bowl. That's the first ingredient is the rice. That's our base. Next ingredient is a large scallion. Um, otherwise, two small scallions will work fine. And we're going to go ahead and mix that into it. Okay, I've minced garlic. I'm going to do a heaping teaspoon of minced garlic. And to tang it up a little bit, I'm going to put in a chili pepper. You don't have to put in a chili pepper. Um, you can replace it with something else, but we like it a little spicy, so I'm going to dice up a chili pepper. Uh, one chili pepper per three peppers. Alright, here's our finely chopped up chili. Now pop that in there. The next thing we're going to add is two eggs. This is to bind it up. There's one. And two. Okay, next ingredient is a little bit of Parmesan cheese, a couple shakes of that. There we go. And that's going to be mixed together. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper, but that's pretty much done. You can add your chicken, chopped up chicken, ham, uh, whatever kind of meat you like, or you don't even have to put in meat. But after that's mixed up, I'm going to put a little bit of cheddar as well. And there's what it looks like when it's mixed up. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper, some salt, garlic powder, and a little bit of oregano and uh, paprika. Just uh, spice it as you like it. Okay, now that we put all our spices in there, we have black pepper, white pepper. White pepper is a pretty unique pepper. It gives it a great taste as well. Um, what I'm adding into it is Sargento um, Artisan Blend. Um, this is a couple different cheeses in one. Um, gives it a nice flavor and kind of binds everything together. When it uh, broils in the oven, Gives it a fantastic flavor. It's about a half a cup of cheese, as you can see there. We're going to mix that in. 
and that's ready to stuff the peppers now. Now to stuff the peppers, I'm going to start with this uh, yellow bell pepper. Got a lot of space in here, and let's go ahead and fill this to the top. Just shovel it in like so. A really easy meal. And just kind of pack it in there pretty good. Ah, there's a nice tomato on top. Beautiful. Smash that in there. Clean up the edges. And we put the cap back on there and just press it in. That's a stuffed pepper. There we are, they're stuffed. Um, we're going to put this in the oven for a little bit. Um, I'm going to put it on 375. I'm thinking this is probably going to take about 30 to 35 minutes to cook. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on that and put a little salt and pepper on the outside just to season the outside. When I pull it out, I'm also making a, uh, a topping to go on top, kind of a little sauce. I take uh, ranch dressing, I put a little grated cheese, locatelli cheese, um, some paprika, red pepper, and chipotle flakes. I blend that in a, a blender for a little bit and it makes a fantastic drizzle to put over the top of them. There on my baking pan, uh, put a little bit of olive oil on the top, uh, some sea salt and pepper. They're going into the oven here. Um, I'm going to put it on 375 for about a half hour. And that's cooking with mixed cap.